When running a press on nail shop, there are two big questions you need to consider. One, what you will sell, and two, where you will sell it. Your answers to these two questions will determine the entire way you run your business. So how do you know which option is right for you? After having run my press on nail shop for the last year and a half, I thought I would share my experience and your options for how to structure your shop in order to make informed decisions about what's best for your business and your life. Let's get into it. Before you can sell a single set of nails, you need to know what you are selling. But here's where it gets interesting. Nails are not one size or one design fits all, so we need to be more specific. Why is that a mission every time? I like to refer to this as establishing your design selling structure. In my mind, there are four main types of design selling structures. Ready to ship, preset, custom, and mystery. Let's go through the pros and cons of each type, and I'll explain which design selling structure I use and why I'm considering switching. In the context of press on nails, ready to ship refers to pre-made, fully finished sets that are already created and designed and available for immediate purchase and or shipment. If bought online, customers can expect that their product will be promptly packaged and delivered without any further processing time. Or if sold in person, they can pay and walk away. Ready to ship nails can be sold either as a complete set of 20 to 24 nails to ensure there's enough sizes to fit anyone. Think of the press-ons you buy at a drugstore or in predetermined standard sizes such as small, medium, and large. The pros of ready to ship nails is that a full set of 24 or more nails is the only design selling structure that takes away the burden on the customer to size their nails prior to purchase. And removing that onus creates a much lower barrier to entry. A low barrier to entry can be a great way to gain initial customers and build trust. Other pros include being able to batch work and streamline your production, and there is much less customer service involved as there is no need for conversing about size or design prior to purchase. Despite the many pros to ready to ship nails, there are also some significant cons. For example, if you want to make a one size fits all set, you need to make 24 nails to ensure everyone can find their perfect fit. That's over double or more of the nails and work needed to sell one set. So between time and materials, either your margins will be lower or your pricing has to account for this, which could also be a deterrent for your customers. To summarize, ready to ship nails are a great way to reduce the barrier of entry to purchase, get your foot in the door and gain customers trust. However, with it comes restrictions to customer choice, availability of inventory and potential increased labor for return. So what are the alternatives? Preset refers to 10 nails in a predetermined design. This is the design selling structure I initially chose when building my shop, and I still use this structure today, but I've moved to more of a hybrid model, which I'll explain a little bit later on. Preset designs can be achieved by making a model or display set, or drawing up a detailed and colored depiction of what the nails will look like, and the artist makes them to order. By having a model set, the customer knows exactly what they will be getting when placing their purchase. Lastly, preset designs also allow you to batch work and streamline your process, as you will likely be making more than one set of the same design at the same time. So what are the cons? Cons to preset designs is that your work can get repetitive. You might get sick of making the same set over and over. By making multiple the same set, you also need to be on top of your inventory, as you will likely run out of the gels or products needed to make that set much faster. You also need to factor in the time it takes to make the model sets. I encourage making them in a popular shape and length so that you can maybe sell them, though I tend to make the display sets in my size so that I can model them for social media and just wear them in my everyday life. The final con is that preset designs restrict customer choice. For example, maybe they like the whole design, but they just want it in a different color. To summarize, preset designs are a great way of having autonomy over your workflow and your art. They can afford you the ability to create a brand, streamline your production, and work on techniques that you enjoy. Some cons include the repetitive nature of making the same sets, balancing inventory levels, and restricted customer choice. So how do we give the customers more options? Custom. Custom nails refers to personalized or made to order designs that are tailored to the specific preferences and requirements of an individual customer. Unlike pre-made or preset designs, custom press on nails involve a collaborative process between the customer and the nail artist. The pros of custom nails is that the customer has full control in terms of the final set that they receive. They might have a specific occasion or theme that they want their nails to match, and a custom nail is the best way to achieve that. As an artist, collaborating with a customer can be really fun. Often, two brains are better than one, and they will offer ideas or make requests that push your thinking, abilities, and get you to be more creative. Just like the rest of the selling structures, however, custom nails also comes with its negatives. Custom press on nails are created based on the customer's detailed specifications and often require additional communication and consultation to ensure that the final product meets their expectations. For this reason, it's essential that you have a system in place to get all the information needed. I recommend having a custom nail request form that outlines all the different elements of their desired nail. The more information you intentionally gather up front, the better you're gonna be able to decipher exactly what they're looking for. I moved to a hybrid selling structure when I started taking custom orders about six months ago. 
If you don't want to spend time building a custom nail form from scratch, I've made the exact form that I use available from the description of this video. And I've finally made available fully customizable Canva templates of my sizing kit and my nail display card, which has application and removal instructions on the back and the exact dimensions of the ones I use in my own shop. And also my nail planner, which you can either use digitally or print it out, but is really the starting point for any of my successful sets. Like I was saying, the more detail you obtain up front, the less back and forth you will have to do. Because every set of custom nails is different, you will have to create a nail pricing structure so that the customer knows approximately where their design falls on that scale and what they can expect to pay. There are lots of other things I could get into with custom sets, such as providing a mock-up, rounds of edits, setting policies. So let me know if you want me to go more in depth in another video. To summarize, custom nails are a great way to collaborate, push yourself creatively, and forge relationships with customers. You will, however, have to set up a form or system to collect customer information and spend significantly more time doing customer service. So between preset designs and custom, is there a best of both worlds? That, I think, is where mystery sets come in. In the press-on nail world, mystery sets refers to nails where a customer provides a general theme and the nail artist is then given creative control to execute that theme. Most often, this is achieved through the customer supplying a set of inspo photos that the artist then pulls elements of style from. I think mystery sets are a great option for someone with an established art style, just so that the customer has like some sense of the style of nail that they're gonna receive. Lately, as I've become more confident in my own art style, I've really been considering moving entirely towards mystery sets to give myself a little bit more like flexibility, a little bit more creative freedom, and to really spend more time making highly detailed quality one-off sets, but more on that in another video. The cons of a mystery set, however, are that the customer can never entirely be sure what they will receive, and you run the risk of them not liking the final result. It also requires a lot of upfront design work on your part to decipher their images, pull elements you think will look good, and figure out how you will translate those to a nail. Okay, are you tired of my voice yet? I am. We now know what we're selling, be it ready to ship, preset, custom, or mystery sets, or maybe some sort of hybrid model. We now need to figure out where we are going to sell these nails how we're gonna build a customer base and how we will drive sales. But I'm gonna to get to that in the next video. I recently made a video answering my most frequently asked questions as a press on nail artist, which you can watch here. But leave any new questions you might have below. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you left it a like. Thank you.